Hey guys, Inspire Asper here. This will just be a short video, it won't be anything too special. And as a way for you all to get to know me better, I have decided to do a QA. 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 questions you have for me in the comments below, and I'll answer them in a later video. The questions can be about the channel. Uh, better late than never? <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Inspirasper and recently we hit 5,000 subscribers, which is awesome. I cannot believe that. But <laughs> this is a little awkward because when we hit 1,000 subscribers almost a year ago, I promised I would put out a Q&A video. Or rather, I put out a video asking for your questions, but I never answered them. <laughs> And I did that for a reason. For a while I was waiting to get a new microphone. I wanted the quality of the video to be a bit higher than, you know, maybe what you heard in the beginning of this video. And so for a while I was waiting and waiting until I could save up and buy a new microphone. But then at some point I actually did and I had no excuse then. <laughs> but I still kept putting it off, putting it off. And eventually it got to the point where I sort of wanted to save it for something special. And here we are. <laughs> So finally, almost a year later, I'm going to answer your, your super old questions. It'll be a blast. Let's jump into it. So the question I got asked the most was probably how I discovered the launch pad and who inspired me to get one for myself. And I know this seems to be the case for most people, but for me it was Nev. I think his Zed Spectrum k remix was the first launch pad video I ever saw, and my mind was blown. And ever since then I knew I wanted a launch pad, and I think it took me a few months, maybe four or five, after I watched that video to save up the money to buy my own launch pad. Eventually, around that same time, I came across a channel called Launchpad Light Show, all one word, where they made exclusively light shows on a launch pad. And so these type of videos really appealed to me, and overall, together, once I had my launch pad and came across this channel, I kind of knew that's what I wanted to do. Now I'm just... <laughs> I'm just not realizing how much my old Q&A video serves as a time capsule. I've grouped together a few questions that I'm just gonna knock out of the park real quick that really show I should have done this a long time ago. Epic Creeper asks, how do you sample project or how can I sample better? Well, let me shamelessly plug my new tutorial series that wasn't a thing back when I made that video. Here you go, bud. Is there any chance you will add the project files to your light shows? Oh, that's right. A year ago, I didn't do that. Well, the answer is yes. Will you teach us how to do the cool pinwheel effects? Here you go. <laughs> oh boy, this is... Uh... A lot of you asked how long it takes me to make a light show on my launch pad. Well, now is a perfect time to plug my new series that I just started, <laughs> where I just sit down and make a light show. The first video took an hour, and I made it about 20 seconds of the way through a song. Yeah, but I would estimate it takes about eight or nine hours sitting down just to make a light show. Now, with me being in college and all that fun stuff, it takes me about two weeks, but throughout those two weeks, I work on maybe an hour. I wouldn't say every day, every other day. So I would say overall eight or nine hours of putting in time to make that light show. What was your first launch pad light show you made? Now see, this is a good question because it is not, in fact, the first video that I put up. The first light show I ever released was to When the Lights Go Out by Bombs and Bottles, but that was not the first light show that I ever made. I made one to David Guetta's She Wolf, a few of you asked how old are yoi, and I was a bit surprised that a lot of you actually knew that. It seemed like you already knew, but I'm actually 20, and in about two weeks from when this video is going up, I will be... 21! So that's exciting. What is your favorite launch pad? That's actually a really good question. I've only personally used two of them. I've only had the S and the Pro, so I can't say much for the Mark II and Mini, but I would have to say the Pro. It just seems, the redesign just seems to improve on all the good qualities of the S. I want to say the S because it was the first launch pad I ever had and it serves a special place in my heart. 
but honestly, I think it's the Pro. I love the colors, it just has a nice feel to it. Whenever you use the Pro and go back to the S, the buttons feel a little bit weird on the S in the older versions. So I like the new sleek redesign. I think Novation did a good job with that. What is your favorite thing about the launch pad? This is actually really interesting because I never use it in any of my videos, but I plan on it in the future. I really enjoy their session mode where you can loop samples. I think that's a really neat concept, and I know other controllers can do that, I know the push can do that, and you know, name a few others too. But it was one of the first things I played around with when I got my launch pad two years ago, and I think it's a really neat concept. If I am a new beginner in the launch pad, what type of launch pad would you recommend? I would probably recommend the launch pad Mark II. At this point, the older launch pads like the S and Mini are a bit outdated, and you can do most everything that an S can do, if not more, with a Mark II for about the same price that I got my S two years ago, which I think is a good deal. Now, if you're just beginning, I wouldn't recommend the Pro because there are some features that it has the that the Mark II will not have. But when you're starting off, you won't need these features. So that's just an unnecessary cost. So that's why I recommend the Mark II. If the Launchpad Mark III is edible, would it be called a lunch pad? <laughs> I like that. Yes, it should be. What's your favorite light show? Ooh, if we're talking about favorite light show that I've made, I would say Volterix Earth Sphere. That was one of my favorites. Noah asked, how do Cascobi and I know each other? I remember a while ago, before I was at a thousand actually. It was a little over a year ago when he contacted me, I believe through Instagram? I don't really remember. But he reached out to me, and we got in touch, and then ever since then we've kept up, and I think we've grown to be pretty good friends. Speaking of Cascobi, how would you feel if you have 100,000 subscribers. Well, for those of you who don't know, Cascobi recently passed 100,000. So how about we ask him how he feels? Yay! Yes. 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 Hey! Oh. Yay, dude! So, how does it feel to have 100,000 yeah. subscribers? Oh. oh my god! I feel like I'm dying, all the nerves just cut off to my body. I'm, uh, <laughs> well, I can't feel the back of my head, or my right leg, or my hands right now. Would you rather have a million dollars or 100,000 subscribers? Well, judging by what I just heard about 100,000 subscribers, <laughs> Realistically, no. I would probably take a million dollars, but I would still maintain this YouTube channel. And with that money, I could easily afford software, hardware, advertisements, all that stuff to boost the channel off the ground, to be completely realistic. Plus, with that kind of money, I could focus on this, you know, making videos long term, or at least for a short while. And if I had the ability to do this full time, then I think we'd be able to pass 100,000 subscribers at some point. So I think the million dollars would be a means to an end. What extra features would you have in your workflow to work more efficiently if you could? That's a neat question. I think if possible, I'd like to make my light shows in Ableton the way I do, but I'd like an option to change the colors, as in maybe I could highlight a note, right click, and then just pick a color, just a red, just orange. Just have an option to pick a color instead of sliding through the velocities, because to be completely honest, that's what takes up most of the time, is changing the velocities, the colors of the lights. So if there was some quick way to just turn it to purple, maybe by some shortcut, maybe you could have a key on the computer, P for purple, that kind of thing. But I know that wouldn't be geared towards Ableton specifically, that'd just be geared towards making launchpad light shows, which is weirdly specific. Do you have any tips for beginning launchpad <laughs> light show YouTubers? Uh, I'm actually planning on releasing a tips and tricks video soon, so I won't give away much just because I want to make that in, into an entire video, and it'd be a shame to ruin the entire content. But for now, I'd say focus on content. Put out consistent content, put out high quality content. Yeah, I mean, that's all I'll give away for now, but I'm, I'm planning on releasing an entire video, and I have a lot planned, so that's exciting. If you had a ticket to anywhere, but had to leave and choose a place immediately, would you go? And where would you go? Wow. Oh, that's an interesting question. Well, there'd be a few things I'd have to consider. Am I able to take anyone? Am I able to take anything? Or is it only me and nothing? And I teleport there immediately. If I'm able to bring someone and bring something, I'd probably choose to go 
to Venice. I've always wanted to go to Venice, Italy, and I would go instantly. If not, then I probably wouldn't go, because unfortunately, I have midterms coming up. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> but maybe if you ask me again in the summer, or maybe if I answered 10 months ago. <laughs> Do you want another MIDI controller? MIDI keyboard, MIDI fighter, MIDI controllers, basically. I have another MIDI controller. I actually have a launch key mini, and I really like it. But if I were to get another controller, I would consider getting a MIDI fighter. Do you like making music? Oh, I love it. Do you like sound packs? Oh, I love them. <laughs> love your videos, bro. Keep doing what you're doing. Thanks, man. How do you record your light shows? I use my phone, my Samsung Galaxy S7 to record my light shows. I don't really have access to any better camera, and unfortunately I can't really afford a better one, but for now, honestly, the quality seems to be pretty good for what my standards are. Will you ever make a long video where you make just a light show? Ha! Yes, I just did. How do you get your light effect ideas? Honestly, I don't know. I remember when I first started, it was a lot of experimenting and just making things, and eventually I got into some patterns that I liked, and once I made those patterns, I kind of generally knew some concepts to make new effects that I think would look good. And sometimes I would use those concepts to make new light effects, and it would work out well, and sometimes it would turn out really bad. And so naturally I learned from the bad ones, and I kept the good ones. And it just kind of evolved from then over the course of, you know, two years. What DAW do you use to make your music? Well, ever since I was exposed to Ableton through making my Launchpad light shows, I've used it ever since for making my music. So, Ableton, to answer your question. Make a battle with Cascobi and Nev, please. Alright, well, um, hey, uh, mm, uh, mm, hey, Cascobi. Hey, Nev. I officially declare war on you. Or whatever. Is that how this works? Battle me, bro. <laughs> Jeez. Why are you so good? Are you wizard? If so, give me wizardry. Alright, Technics. Here you go. Uh, <laughs> what? Yeah, the, 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 I just gave you some wizardry. You're welcome. How can I download sounds? <laughs> Beats me, dude. I think that'll wrap up this video. Thanks for the questions. Thanks for being patient, those of you who maybe remembered this video. And sorry, I made you wait for 10 months. But more importantly, thank you all for 5,000 subscribers. The rate this channel is growing is actually mind-boggling to me. And I know it's not much compared to other YouTube channels out there, but for me, doing this as a hobby, it's actually kinda crazy. So I'm very appreciative of that, and I'm very appreciative of you. So thank you so much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.